Hey everyone, it's April here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing another Prompt Madness video using my app here. Uh, if you like apps and surprises, you can get this on my website. I'll leave a link below. You can look at it on your phone or your PC. And there's like a whole bunch of prompts, a whole bunch of art materials. So if you don't know what to draw, you can just uh, prompt away. So today I got spiderwebs and watercolour ink. So this is my collection of all of my watercolour inks. They are very dusty because I haven't used them for so long. These are the first ones, my Dr. PH Martins. They are concentrated watercolour and this is my favourite colour, persimmon. I haven't used these for so long that all the sediment's gone to the bottom, but I really love those. The next I have are these Ecoline, which um, I just have two colours and they're pastel. But I also have another bunch of Ecoline, which is like a set that I brought a while ago. I can't believe the a level of dust on those. So I went with the eco line ones, the pastel ones, I figured just keep it simple, two colours and away we go. So I'm using the Moleskin Art Plus sketchbook, which in my experience, I've only been using it for a couple of months, but it doesn't really take watercolour very well or liquid materials. Um, you have to kind of use like very light level of water, if that makes sense. Otherwise it, it, it warps the page. So I did a few little tests because I haven't used these for so long. And you can kind of see their different techniques of blending them, layering them, and kind of using water and creating crazy effects. And then I decided to um, think about spider webs. So I decided to do a little bit of cheating and I used this Molotow masking fluid pen. It's a bit of a weird one to use, but it's quite fun and it's a lot better than trying to use a paintbrush and masking fluid. So I just uh, grabbed a couple of references online and I made up my own little spiderweb here on the page. So I don't know if this is cheating because it does say just use watercolour inks but I'm going to be fine with it because to be honest when I use this app I cheat quite a bit. Every time I get graphite pencil I, um, I press the skip button <laughs> because I just hate drawing with graphite. I know the whole the whole point of this app is to get you out of your comfort zone and like try new materials that you would never use, but man, graphite is just so boring. So yeah, that's my whinge for the day. Uh, no, no graphite, thank you. Anyway, so this is really simple. Literally, I'm just splattering the ink around. It's definitely a bit of a cop out if you ask me, but it was really fun to do, and uh, it definitely gives your fingers a workout when you go to take that masking fluid off, which we'll see in a second. I'm also using my favourite washi tape here, the Narwhal washi tape. I don't know why I decided to use this, but I'm just using it to mask out the pages and I regret it because that washi tape is awesome. I think I got it from Paper Chase in the UK and I don't think they're going to sell it again. Shouldn't have wasted it. So I just decided to fill in some of those little gaps there to make it a little bit more interesting and do some splatters. So I think the uh, page was still wet because the splatters you can kind of see them dry in they don't dry in nice little dots they kind of feather into the page but it's all good and here comes the cool part where you take the masking fluid off so this took forever I sped it up like 300,000 percent but I had to use my fingers um, it does say you can peel it off on the pen but in my in my very limited experience of using this pen twice I have found that you have to uh, uh, rub it off because um, it doesn't peel off Maybe I'm using the wrong paper. And that's the finished spiderweb. It looks pretty simple, so I decide in a minute to add a little spider to the spiderweb. If you guys don't like spiders, you might want to look away. It is a, it is a cartoon spider, but still, I understand um, arachnophobia. It, it can be scary. I actually used to be super terrified of spiders. I'm pretty sure I'm terrified of spiders now. I just haven't seen them for months in our flat. We rarely see spiders. I've seen one since we've lived here. I've lived here for about two years. But in the last place I lived, I had a room in like a house with a few other people and it was quite an old house. The windows never closed. So I guess spiders got on all the time. And in England, they say that if you get conkers, which are kind of like these nuts that fall from the tree like a seed. If you get these conkers and you put them on the windowsill, the spiders don't like the conkers, so they, they don't come in. So um, in in September, when all the conkers fell off the tree, I collected a whole bunch. I put them on my windowsill. I came back the next day and there was a gigantic spider on the wall. So I don't know how I got rid of it. I must have, I must have erased that from my memory. 
But I got rid of it, came in the next day, another massive spider on the wall. So my theory is the conkers actually trapped them inside the room. So I got rid of all the conkers and I never saw a spider again. But yeah, this is my little cartoon spider, watercolour arachnid. I think it looks quite cute, so I just kind of popped it into the page. I was going to make it dangle, like be able to swing back and forward, but I figured that would be really irritating, so I just popped it in there and I called it a day. So that's this prompt madness. Uh, spider webs and watercolour inks. So again, if you want to try it out, the link's below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.